Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use the include command. This command is useful if you want to call functions from other AutoHotKey scripts or you want to use libraries created by yourself or others. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. So include command allows you to call functions that don't exist in your current script, but exist in other scripts that you target by using the include command. So what I mean by that is, if you say, for example, had a function called my function um, in your current AutoArchy script, and then say you've got two parameters, A and B, and what this function will do is it will just simply add a and b and return it back let's say in the same script you're doing a a call of the function and you want to use that function by providing a uh, values of three and six and what this will do when you run it it will show me a message box that would add the value of three and six together so that would show me a value of nine like that now if this function is saved in another script let's say here uh, my first script is not going to be able to run that because the function does not exist in your script now by using the include command you are able to call that function that I just moved to the test script two. So if, if I go back to my test script one and run the script, I will see the same message box appearing because of this include command that is in there. Mind you, if your test script two is not saved in the same folder as your test script one, which means right now they are saved in the same folder so just doing a include of the target test script name will allow you to access the function within that script but if i moved the test script to to say a new folder this is not going to work because you can't find this is going to cause an error because you can't find the script that you want to include within this current script so if i go ahead and run this it gives me an error saying i could not find the test script to that you were referring to now in order to fix that you can either provide the full path to the script like that or you can also change the folder that we are referring to within the include command, which means in any subsequent include command, if I typed out say test script two dot ahk, this means we're looking for this script that is in this folder. So if I save this and run it, I'll still get that message box that says number nine. If you want to switch back to the current folder um, the folder where your current script is saved in then you can do percentage sign a script there which is the script directory so now any subsequent inclusion of other scripts within the current script will point towards uh, this folder which is the location of the current script so let's say i'm going to add a function in the test script 3 which is saved in the same directory as test script 1 let's say and these functions are the same so if I go ahead and run it I'll get an error that says I have duplicate function definition so what I'm going to do I'm going to rename this my to my function 2 and put that back in and then now my test script three does a deduction of B from A. I'm going to 
So this is going to produce a result of negative 3, this is going to produce a result of 9 as per the usual. So if I run it, I'll get a 9 and a negative, oh, my function 2, I get a 9 and a negative 3, like that. So it switched back my reference folder back to the, um, back to the current scripts folder. Now another way to include an autoarchy script is by doing this, so wrap the lib, uh, which stands for library, uh, within angled brackets like that. And what this means is, if I bring up the autoarchy documentation, there we go. So this means that the script is going to search through these three folders down here to find a autoarchy script that is named lib. So you can either have your lib file saved in the script directory's library, for example. Um, if I bring up my folder again. There you go. So if you created a, a folder called lib, and I'm going to create a new autoarchy script and call it uh, lib, and in this script, I'm going to add a my function three that multiplies a and b. Close out of that, and then if I went message box, message box a oh my function three, and do a multiply of five times three and run this script. I should get a message box that says 15 like that. And that's because it's included this script, which is saved in the LIB, LIB folder in the, in the folder where my uh, current script is saved. Now, another usual folder that you would save your libraries to or your auto key uh, scripts to when you run um, when you create your new autoarchy script that uses functions from those scripts is the my documents autoarchy library which you can find if you go to the users folder your username and your documents folder where is it here we go documents and go to autoarchy and library folder that's where you can keep your libraries or autoarchy scripts that you call functions from. And let me just bring up my folder. Now this library folder, I can move it over here as well. And in fact, I don't even have to name this lib. I can call it whatever. And all I need to do is change this to whatever. And this is going to call that function still. So if I run the script, it will multiply five times three because what it did is I didn't include an angle brackets me means I'm going to search, uh, the script is going to search through these folders. And the last one, by the way, is the directory where the auto key executable is uh, saved when you install the, when you, when you install the auto key program. Um, it's going to go through all of these folders and find the script that is called whatever.ahk and then include that in your in your script. All right, so if you have a lot of autoarchy scripts that you want to include in your new autoarchy script um, and you don't really want to, you know, duplicate the lines of um, codes that represent the include command to include individual autoarchy scripts. What you can do is instead of doing that, inc have have a, a main script. Uh, let me just switch back to lib. Have a main script that includes other scripts. So, for example, uh, let me copy and create a few. Let's say hello. Goodbye. How are you? Let's say these with these, I will make it show message box. Goodbye. Message box. How are you? Message box. Hello. 
and make the library script include all of these hello goodbye and how are you this up like that and my main script will only include the lib auto hockey script which should include all three of them so if i go ahead and actually i have to turn these into functions i want to turn these into functions let's say hello and do that how are you how are you and where's my last one goodbye goodbye let me so once i turn these into functions i can call upon them from my main script go hello um how are you and goodbye now if i run this then i should get all three message boxes showing up so i get the hello one i get the how are you one and then finally the goodbye message box because my um, all three scripts are included in my lib script which is included in my main script so in this manner if you have a lot of libraries or other autoarchy scripts that you need to include in your new autoarchy script this is a real quick way to include all of those now another thing is that even if you don't use the include function you are still able to call functions from autoarchy scripts that are saved in the user library and standard library now let me show you an example so let's say i'm trying to call a function called my calc which doesn't exist anywhere um, so i'm just going to go ahead and create a script called my calc right and create a, a function called my calc and make it do make it receive two parameters a and b and return a uh, divide by b okay now if i do a my calc of you know, 10 divided by 2 and do a message box to display the the result normally you would need to add the include function in in order to run that my calc function within this my calc um, autoarchy script but this still works and this still works because uh, by design autoarchy is able to uh, look through the user library and the standard library according to the documentation and find the script that is called for example my calc and run the function that is named the same now if you want to have more than one function within the mycalc autoarchy script uh, what you can do is you can create a new one let's say um, x and go a and b and i'll make this one return the exponential so a to the power of b and let's say if you go back to your uh, main script how you can call that function is by putting a underscore and exp so my call exp will run and it will do a power of 2 on the number 10 so if i run that i'll get a, a result of uh, 100 now just lastly if you try to add a library or an auto hockey script that does not exist does not exist it gives you an error right if i run this i get an error message now if you don't like this error message and it's not that important that you do not include the auto hockey script if it fails then it fails and you're okay with that then you can put in this uh, prefix of star i and if you do that you won't be getting any uh any um any error messages when you run the run the script all right this is it for today's tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video